Hi kids, today I'm going to teach you how to create a maze game in Scratch. So first of all, let's open Scratch in your computers. Go to Google and type Scratch, press the Enter key and click on Scratch here and click on Start Creating or Create here at the top. Then close this tutorial. Now you all, are, all can see here at the Top, here it is chord and costumes and sound. I need backdrops here because first of all you need to draw your maze then after only you should add the sprites and you have to program it. Okay so please delete the sprite here. Now you'll be able to see the backdrops here. Click on it and these are the tools you will use. Okay uh, we are going to use this line tool and you may need the eraser and the outline color and the outline size and then other thing is re undo and the redo buttons now children when you're drawing the maze whatever you're drawing you can see the same thing on your stage okay so make sure that when you're drawing okay so when you're drawing it should be inside this box only even not on this line Okay, try to draw it inside the box only. Okay, so let's start. I'm clicking on this line and changing the thickness to 10. Okay, so keep an, uh, keep an eye on the stage. Okay, so make sure that you can see the same on the stage as well. So let's start. So as a beginner, when you are drawing, you may not be able to draw straight lines for that i'll give you a tip press and hold the shift keys then you can draw straight lines okay again hold the shift key and press it for the third line hold the shift key and press it and once again hold the shift key and press it and draw the fourth line okay next let's draw the lines inside so, so my one sprite will be here. For an example, let's say the monkey and the banana, this uh, hungry monkey, you have to take to the banana. So banana will be in somewhere else, okay? In the end, okay? So make sure the other thing is when you are drawing, uh, you have enough space to take your sprite, okay? Between the lines, there should be enough space. So I will draw like this. And next. This. From here. Okay. You can create your own base. That's all right. If you did any mistakes, please use the undo button. I prefer than erasing and wasting your time. Better to use the undo button. Okay. So my sprite will move like this. Okay. So the end should be here. Okay. So I can draw another line like this okay. Alright, hope this is fine. Okay, now let's go back to coding and uh, let's add two sprites. Let's take the same example bananas. Let's keep the banana here and the monkey. Let's click on animals and find the monkey. Now 
you children can see that the monkey the is too big okay even the banana also banana that is fine since it's not going to move anywhere now the game is you are going to take this monkey to the bananas without touching these lines now since it is in the hundred size definitely it will touch so let's change the size of the monkey and see let's make it 50 let me check whether i can take it no still it can touch okay so now let's make it 30 and see now i think now it's better that's fine right yes okay uh, if you want you can change the size of the bananas as well i'm changing it to 80 okay let's keep it here now first let's give the codings for the keys now you are going to take this monkey to the banana using the arrow keys using all the four up down right and left arrow keys you are going to move it okay so for that first of all let's go to events and take this when space key pressed okay so now first i'm going to give it to the up arrow okay so up arrow and uh, Moving up mean children is Y coding. Can you all remember? So let's check it. Take this change Y by. Okay. And if we are next, now I want to give the codings for the down arrow. Again, when down arrow key pressed, change Y by. Okay change y by this should be minus okay minus 10 you have learned these things in grade 2 plus and minus now let me check now let's give to the right arrow and the left arrow again when space keep press now let's give the right arrow and now it should be x coding change x by 10 next when space key pressed left arrow for the left it should be x minus now change this 10 to minus 10 all right now let's see is it working yes now let me try the touch the lines and check mm. so nothing is happening now we have to program this monkey if we touch the line it should go back to the beginning if it didn't touch okay if you are winning the game it should say once you touch the bananas it should say hooray or oh, yay yeah, or something you should uh, cheer it up okay so let's see how to do that for this, let me make it a little bit smaller. Okay, fine. Now I'm first taking this when flag click coding. So my game is going to start when I click on the flag. Next, I need the blue block in the motion, the position of the monkey right now. Okay, so it is. Um, this is this is the monkey's current position okay and next let's take the forever block okay and inside there i need two if blocks okay one and another okay. one if you touch the lines what will happen the other one is if you touch the bananas what will happen so if you touch the line so if let's go to sensing touching color okay take the touching color block if touching color you should give exactly the same color what you have used for the maze only now here it's in red so let's change the color just click on this red and next click on this tool at the bottom here in the drop down 
and now take your mouse pointer top of this maze line now wait until the circle turn to the exactly your maze line colors now it's turned fully okay now click on there it means you are taking that color to your um that color bar okay click on it okay done now if is touch this line what should happen it should go to this beginning so this we have to take this monkey's current position uh, code is in the motion go to x minus 188 y 139 it is here okay so take it and drop it here okay this is what will happen when monkey touch the line next if monkey didn't touch the line it means if monkey touch the banana, okay. If monkey touching the banana, okay. So let's change if monkey touching bananas. If monkey touching bananas, what should happen? Okay, you can say a message like, yay, you want something like that, okay. So let's go to looks. Say, you won okay let's give in capital like this okay and you can say you can add a sound as well okay let's go to sound block and play sound until done okay now this is by default is something a different sound okay so let's go to this sound and uh, you can add a new sound. Let's go to sports. Let's add this. Let's play this tune. Okay, so let's click on it and let's go back to coding. And now click on this arrow head and select, select this cheering sound. Okay, now let's play our maze and see. Okay, let's click on the arrow, the flag button. Now I'm starting. Now you can see that my monkey can move using the arrow keys. Okay. Now let me try this um, black line and see what will happen. Can you see? When you touch the black line, it goes to the beginning. Okay. So slowly, I'm going to play my maze. Let's take it a little bit down. Oops. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hope this will work out. The size of the monkey is fine. Okay, next. Okay, slowly, 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 slowly. Okay, down. And next, right. Yes. Okay, so this is how you all can create your maze game. Please, let's stop it. Okay, so please do practice at home. Uh, one more thing I want to show you how to save your work. Go to file and click on save to your computer. Now you can see it's saved. By default, all the time children is saving by the name of the sc scratch project and with the number and with the file format. So if you want to remember your maze game which you have done, so you can rename it and keep it. Let me close it and show you. Okay, leave it and go to file explorer and go to downloads and here is the saved scratch project just click once and right click and um, you can rename it just click two times okay and uh, I will give the name as maze game Okay, and uh, do not erase this .sb3, that is the file format, so keep it as it is and press the enter key. Now, let me close it and go back to my scratch. You can't double click it and open and play these children. Okay, we see, look, where? Yeah. let me show you. See, it's not going to work like that. So, first you have to go to scratch. Okay. And now go to file, 
load from your computer to open your saved maze game it's in downloads and click on this maze game and click on open okay okay so once you click on this you can see all the blocks okay so if you want to play again remember to click on the flag button and start okay okay children please do practice and enjoy the maze game thank you